guys, sorry if uh, the tutorial was bad uh, quality or whatever. It was 12.30 in the morning and I was just kind of like... So I uh, hope you enjoy and uh, we'll see you next time. Don't forget to like, comment, rate, subscribe if you think I did well. Good day there ladies, gentlemen and shemales of all kinds. Eclipse Apex here and today I'm doing another mod, uh, oh, Minecraft mod. Uh, this one is uh, the turrets mod and uh, I'm going to show you uh, how to build them, what they do and the damage they do. Well, not all of them but because that's a hell of a lot of turrets. But um, yeah I'm going to show you most of those and I uh, hope you enjoy. First of all let's see how to install it. Now um, this is just like uh, any usual mod. Um, you get the, uh, you get the uh, jar files for it. And they'll be in the uh, in the description below. And uh, basically, yeah, grab those jar files. Um, you put them somewhere for, you know, they'll be in your downloads folder or some shit like that. Grab them out. You want to put them on your desktop or keep them in downloads, whatever you want. Then you want to go down to your start bar here. You want to go... R U N run click on run make sure that's up and running <laughs> yeah yeah I know bad pun but um then you gotta go into here and you might have it already up from last time you tried to install a mod or whatever but you need to type app data okay and you'll come up with this funky screen then uh, you'll have your local local low and roaming Double click on that, you'll have your .minecraft folder there, double click that one, and you'll see this one here, mods, this is uh, only if you've installed mods before, and don't forget you have to be running Forge, make sure you do that. Oh, I have another tutorial, uh, tutorial uh, video up uh, on how to install Forge, so make sure you watch that if you have not installed Forge yet. Alright, um, so basically you uh, double click on your mods folder, you grab the jar files that are, you know, you downloaded of um, this one. Now this one, uh, there's the turret mod there, that's uh, the actual mod itself, but then on top of that, uh, the guy who made it, I can't remember his name, but uh, he made it. Uh, you have to have this mod uh, as well to run the turrets mod so that'll be up uh, in the description below as well so that's called the manager pack okay so make sure you download the manager pack right you want to move the manager pack in here first into your mods folder run your minecraft make sure you run that right and uh, then close it again after you've run it then you want to move this turrets mod one in, okay? So make sure you do that. Manager pack, run Minecraft, turrets mod, run Minecraft, all right? And if you've installed uh, Forge uh, properly, it'll become uh, come up with FML is uh, you know doing something to your Minecraft, all right? So that's how to install it there, you know, just like any other mod, and uh, now I'll show you some of the turrets. Alright, so these are your basic turrets. Oh, these are, well, if I can get up. These are all the turrets in the game, starting from your tier 1, tier 2, tier 3, 4, and 5. And finally a uh, tier S, which is just like a uh, special fun, basic, uh, basically, uh, fun turret. So, uh... These ones, they shoot fast, deal really bad damage. Shoot medium, okay damage. Shoot faster, better damage. Uh, no, sorry. Shoot slower, uh, better damage. Shoot even slower, even more damage. Slower again, but more damage. And slowest, but you know the most damage. So these two here, they are really, really good. Um, but the problem is they take really long to you know 
reload if you want to um, but these ones up here reload really fast shoot really fast but you know the difference is the damage all right and uh, then you got these three down here these ones are basically special turrets as well you got this one here this little green one in the middle it's an uh, uh, an XP collector if uh, let's say you have a mob trap with you know uh, a couple of these turrets set up and you know they're all killing the turret uh, they're all killing the mobs and whatnot you can place this one where the mobs are mainly dying and it'll collect up all the XP and all that and whatnot alright so there's that one then you got this one here this is the force field turret this one uh, basically creates a full on force field around you which uh, can damage enemies and if upgraded can even stop them from entering the force field and this one's your healing turret this one heals all the turrets around it um, just basically shooting golden shit at them so <laughs> alright so let's get on <clears throat> so in this uh, I've sh basically shown you how to build each one over here so this one's three cobblestone along the bottom a wood plank and then a dispenser so uh, then in the middle here you got what the turret uh, shoots out so this one's arrows and an arrow pack so uh, this mod, act mod actually throws um, some more items in there if uh, yeah basically throws more items in there um, so you got the arrow pack there as well and then over here on the right you have the upgrades that you can throw into the turret each turret has uh, upgrades you can throw in uh, some are different some are you know the exact same all around and uh, so yeah so basically this is an arrow turret then you got a shotgun turret um, no, what's this one called? Oh yeah, this is your um, I'm getting a bit off track here. This is your turret info book. So uh, you can craft craft this with a dispenser, a book, and an ink uh, ink sack. And uh, basically, it tells you about every single turret, how to craft it, and uh, you know the basic values of it. Um, so. Yeah, it gives a short description there, tells you how to build it. Then it gives uh, basic values, which is uh, the max ammo it can hold, um, the health points of the turret, and then you show uh, it shows you the range of what it can shoot. So uh, let's say this sniper turret here can shoot five blocks above its head, above where the turret is. It can show, uh, shoot... 20 blocks below um, where the turret is and it can shoot a high range of 64 blocks out and that is uh, that's pretty bloody good and then you got its damage here is 25 HP now um, everyone knows that uh, your HP is um, um, sorry 2 HP is 1 heart so it'd be about uh, what 12.5 heart damage I think something around that not too sure so yeah basically this one here the sniper turret is uh, an insta kill so and then you got the uh, experience it can hold each um, uh, each turret can uh, hold XP with the right um with the right upgrade so yeah so this is all your turrets um, oh yeah I've got to find out the name of that one see so, oh yeah so you got the minigun turret revolver turret laser turret flamethrower turret sniper flak railgun and artillery so that's all in a line there that's your artillery railgun flak sniper um, Shit, forgot that one already. Or, or what? The forgot that one already. Your laser turret, all right. Yeah, revolver, minigun. So, yeah. And um, so yeah, you got each of the chests along here. I've shown you what um, 
is used to build them now you have to use exactly that if you want to get um, an arrow turret use cobblestone if you want to get a shotgun one use stone so you make got to make sure you use exactly um, as seen otherwise you won't get the turret you want and um, as you can see this one shoots pebbles that's the upgrades and you know the upgrades are basically all the same I'll go through and I'll show you each of the chests that way uh, if you're looking at pausing the video so you can have a look at how to build it and uh, you know what it shoots and what the upgrades are so this one's the oh yes this one's your flamethrower turret so it takes um, a new addition a fuel pack and you know basically flamethrowers the enemies alright so I'll just go along here for you that one there shoots ballistic uh, missiles this railgun one is my favorite it can uh, one hit um, zombies and uh, skeletons and all that so that artillery one though I have not tried that out but apparently it's really good and this is the snowball one this one basically uh, shoots snowballs slows enemies down and whatnot so alright I guess I'll put some arrow in uh, some ammo in one of these I'll show you the railgun one some ender pearls there we are he's got some arrow uh, some ammo and um, you can tell uh, if uh, a turret has ammunition by this little blue lever at the front there full ammunition will mean it's up like the red ones at the back but uh, low ammunition or no ammunition will you know, you'll see the little blue stick right down. The red one at the back, though, that's the health of the turret. So, as you can see, my railgun one's getting a bit uh, on the downside. Alright. So, uh, I'll go ahead and I'll spawn a... Oh God, if I can get up. I'll go ahead and I'll spawn something here for you. So, you can have a geezer. Let's see. We'll go a... Oh, no. We'll go a zombie. No. Where's that one? There. Alright. There we are. So that's the rail, just the railgun one there. Bang. I think it's just the railgun. Maybe there's some more. But as you can see, they auto target, except that flamethrower one. I think the uh, it's a bit out of range for the flamethrower. But all of them, as soon as they see an enemy, straight up target it. And uh, yeah. Oh yeah, got to show you these ones. This is the force field, how to build it, its upgrades. These are probably like, oh, quickly pause it. I want to know how to build it. I'll, um, what I'll do is I'll attach a document uh, in the description below as well that you can download with um, the pictures and uh, whatnot. Oh, actually, forget about it. You get this little book. Seriously, this little book's awesome. Alright. So, uh, yeah. Um, I'll just... If I can get up. I'll quickly go show you a little uh, mob trap I made. Uh, speaking before, with the um, XP upgrader. Uh, the XP collector. And uh, a simple little railgun turret. It's my fancy little house. All turreted up. No, not that one. Where's the hole going? Oh no, I lost the hole. Where'd it go? It was somewhere around here. Sorry guys, I'll try and find this. There. Is that it? No, I don't think that is. No. Ah, oh, damn it. Alright, All right, be guys. back in one second. the right one this time. Well, hopefully. Alright, yep, this is it. And obviously, a creeper's come over and exploded. Quickly fix that up. Don't want to get any light in, otherwise, uh, 
really throw this spawn around and you know all that block that off there we are complete darkness all right so I've managed to find a mob spawner you know cleared out some dirt and whatnot this isn't out of ammo is it Ah, something's managed to get in there but there we are a simple little mob spawner spiders can't you know get down because of the walls and the, uh, the turret takes them out and the XP collector up the back there uh, kills them this is taking some serious damage though oh the other thing I've got to show you is, is uh, this here this is the turret control unit and uh, basically this tells you all about a turret so it's got eight ammunition left and you got 20 health and uh, you can see its targets the owner of it the turret name so you can set um, names for turrets you know what it's targeting at the moment so if you want to target different things you can even even take these to the end with you and um, make it target the uh, and uh, ender dragon and um, as I said they can hold experience and even guys sometimes if you get the um, saddle upgrade you can actually shoot the turret for yourself so I'll quickly show you that too where is it Brumby saddle now you can have a look at this alright get this turret control unit um, Oh yeah, it also shows all your upgrades as well. Alright, so, ride turret. And here we are. You can get on, and all you have to do is press F, and it shoots. And uh, the white bar there shows your refill, or your ammunition. The blue bar is your, um, is your ammo. Okay, I have infinite ammo, that's a uh, upgrade you can get for it. And, uh... The red bar is uh, the health of the turret. Alright. And last but uh, not least, I'll show you one more little shindig. This, where is it? This here, this is a mobile base. So, oh, I'll get out of the turret first. Alright. So, let's say you want to move the turret around. I'll uh, get some stairs. Where are they? stairs there alright throw some stairs down and I want to get this turret up some more uh, won't go on now oh it's on okay so move him up a bit and oh no taking damage and I think yeah he's gone usually they can't get through oh well but, um, yeah, basically you can throw the uh, turret on um, this mobile little thing and you can move it around as you like. And, uh, yeah. So, anyway, guys, hope you've enjoyed the tutorial and uh, we'll see you next time. Um, I think the next mod is uh, called uh, Simple NPCs or something like that. Basically, you can get uh, a non-player... Uh, computers to work as slaves for you so uh, yeah hope you enjoy see you on the next mod